Oh yeah, so this is lesson three, first video. And it's looking at displacement time. So just a reminder, if I had velocity time or speed time, then the gradient is acceleration. It's a change in speed over time, a change in velocity over time. And the area is distance or displacement. Now that's easy, that's from school, that's okay. But it messes with your head when you do displacement time graphs because you've got to be really, really careful what it's saying. Oh, right, so let's have a look. So displacement time, so it's got vertical is your displacement, horizontal is your time. So the gradient is a change in displacement or distance over time. So that's got to be velocity or speed, whatever you're looking at. So let's have a look at these three here. So if you look at this, it's so easy to think of it as like a velocity time graph. But if you look, the displacement hasn't changed. So time's traveling on, but just your displacement hasn't changed. It's like you're sat in the classroom. You're not going anywhere, but time's going on. So it says here, there's no change in displacement, so it's stationary. Now let's have a look at the next one. So I've said that the gradient represents a velocity. If I just worked out that gradient, it would be the same as that gradient. It would be the same as that gradient. So I've got a constant rate, a constant gradient. So I've got a constant velocity. My displacement is increasing, say, 10 metres in every second. And it's constant now. So I've got a constant. Now let's have a think about this last one. Imagine like tangents to the curve for the velocity. There I've got a velocity, but if you look at this velocity, it's steeper. So my velocity is getting bigger, which and my velocity is changing as well. So that means it's accelerating as well. So that was really, really messy to get your head around. So it says the velocity is increasing and it's accelerating. Right, so just be careful because it's displacement and it's not distance. Um, the values can be negative. Uh, so I've added like distance and speed in here. That'd be just the top part of it if you be careful. Right, so let's have a look. So three questions. So this first bit, I'm travelling at a constant velocity. This next bit, I'm travelling at a constant velocity, but I'm moving further away from home. So this just kind of means that I've just slowed me down. At this point, I stop. Now, at this point, if you look, as time goes on, my distance is reducing. So I'm coming back now. I'm coming home. And if I get to there, I'm, I'm at zero distance away, and I'm back. So which one of these does that? It's a constant, isn't it? So top down for what? Set off slower, then increase the pace. So that can't, because that's going to be one going like that. So that's out. Uh, rode the bike east of Bastille Hill. It's a steep hill. After a while, the slow piece is off. So potentially, as the slow piece is off, you're going to go faster. So that one's out. Went for a jog. At the end of the road, bumped into a friend, and the pace slowed. So here is the end of the road. The pace slows, and then I walk quickly back home. So that's kind of matching, isn't it? So this is my jog. This is where I've slowed down, and this is where I'm coming back. So it must be this one. Right, go on, let's have another go at this one then. Right. So it says a cyclist rides in a straight line for 20 minutes. So that's the first 20 here. She then waits for half an hour. So if you look, the displacement hasn't changed. So I've, I've, I've got on my bike, and I've ridden for five kilometres, then I've sat there and had a break, I've me it, um, and then it says I come back, and it takes me 15 minutes to come back. Right. So it wants average velocities for each stage. So from O to A, I travel five kilometers in 20 minutes, which is a third of an hour. So my velocity will be five over a third. So my velocity 
is 50 kilometers per hour. Then from A to B, I've already said it, I'm just kind of like sat there, aren't I? So I've traveled zero km uh, in, in half an hour, all right? So in 30 minutes. So my velocity is zero kmh. And then from B to C, so in B to C, I've traveled back five kilometers. And that's in 15 minutes or a quarter of an hour. So my velocity for this one is my five kilometers over a quarter. My velocity is 20 kmh to the minus one. But I've got to be careful because I'm traveling back and velocity is scalar. So I've got to put the minus in there to show that I'm traveling back. There. So then are my little velocities for each section. Part B. Write down the average velocity for the whole journey. So the average velocity for the whole journey. So my average velocity for the whole journey is my total displacement over my total time. But what's my total displacement? I've left, gone five kilometers in the positive direction, and then I've come back five kilometers. So my actual total displacement is zero. So my average velocity is zero divided by the time, which is uh, 65 minutes. So that's 65 over 60 to make it into hours. But regardless of that, it's zero kmh or kmph. <clears throat> right, so but the speed, I'm not fussed about the, the, the direction I'm going, just how far I have rode. So my average speed will be, I rode five kilometers out, I rode five kilometers back. I'm not fussed about the direction. Did it in 65 minutes out of 60 to make it into an hour. It gives me roughly 9.2 kilometers per hour as an average for the whole journey. There you go. All right. So that's an eight minutes. So I'll stop there and we'll have a look at the second example.